We're at a crossroads. The conservative movement stands intellectually and morally bankrupt. Democrats talk about a new direction without convincing us they know the difference between a weather vane and a compass. <laughs> at this crossroads, at this crossroad, a vacuum has opened in the conversation of democracy, and it's all up for grabs. And in the searching of our souls required of everyone in this room and kindred spirits across the continent, we must confront the most fundamental progressive failure of the current era, the failure to embrace a moral vision of America based on a transcendent faith across racial and class lines that human beings are more than the sum of our economic appetites and that our country is more than an economic machine and that the freedom and that and that the freedom we receive is the legacy we bequeath in this brief sojourn on earth you and I are on a great journey for those who came before us and those who will come after it is our moral political and religious duty to see to it that this nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that we are all equal is in good hands on our watch. The story we have to tell is unfolding. The next chapter is ours to tell. The other story, the killing story, we return America back to the days of radical lacy fair when there was no social contract and the strong took what they could and the weak what was left. Our story remembers that the freedoms and rights we treasure were not plucked from the tree or sent from heaven, as George W. Bush keeps saying. They were, in the words of John Powers, born of centuries of struggle by millions who fought and bled and died to assure that government can't just walk into our bedrooms or read our mail, to protect ordinary people from being overrun by massive corporations, to win a safety net against the sometimes cruel workings of the market, to stop businessmen from compelling workers to work more than 40 hours a week without extra compensation, to make us free to criticize our government without being told we're unpatriotic, and to make sure our leaders are answerable to the people when they send our soldiers into war. Our story, our story is that democracy works when people claim it as their own. The eight-hour day, the minimum wage, the construct conservation of natural resources, free trade unions, old age pensions, and clean air and water and safe food all of these began as citizens' movements and won the endorsement of the political class only after long struggles and against bitter attacks and ridicule. This will be so if we are to have health care for all Americans, including Mary Ann Ray, if we are to have a living wage for every worker and full public financing for all elections. We must tell our story from the voting booths, tell it, from the street corners, tell it, from Starbucks, tell it, from the workplace, tell it, from the bookstore, tell it, from the campus, tell it, from the mall, tell it, tell it at the synagogue, the mosque, and the sanctuary. Tell it where you can, when you can, and while you can, to every candidate for office, to every talk show host and pundit, to every corporate chieftain and school child, that the promise of America, the promise of democracy, leaves no one out. That's our story. That's our story. That's our story. Tell it for America's sake. Thank you. <laughs>